Have you ever drank alkaline, alkalized, high pH water that's high in alkalinity? Ever been confused by the language used by the alkaline water community? Well, that ends today on this episode of H2 Minutes. Now, when it comes to alkaline water, there are many terms thrown around loosely that add to everybody's confusion. Well, it's time to stop the madness. Just so we're clear, let's look at the actual definitions of the words used by the alkaline water enthusiast. First is alkaline water. The definition of alkaline water is water having a pH greater than seven. This means the water is rich in alkali compounds, including alkali hydroxides of calcium, potassium, sodium, etc. So as you can see, alkaline water is purely about having a pH above seven no matter how it got that way. So what about alkalized water? There's a popular misconception that alkaline water and alkalized water are two separate things. So let's look at the definition of alkalized. Definition of alkalized is to make or to become alkaline. So if you have a cup of tap water and you add baking soda, you have now alkalized the water. If you add elemental magnesium, like an H2 tablet to your tap water, you have now alkalized the water. If you run tap water through electrolysis, i.e. an ionizer, you have now alkalized the water. I think you get the picture, right? Now there is a word that can describe the differences between alkaline waters, and is often used incorrectly. The word is alkalinity. The definition of alkalinity is the capacity to buffer acid without significantly changing its own pH. So basically, alkalinity is stronger and is not easily overcome by acid. The tricky part is you can have water with a high pH but low in alkalinity. This is demonstrated with a demo that shows you can take a cup full of high pH water and turn it into acidic water with a cap full of soda. The reason is high pH water made from an ionizer can easily be overcome by even a little acid. It would take 10,000 liters of ionized water at a pH of 10 to have the same buffer capacity as one tablespoon of baking soda. So if there is a type of alkaline water you would like to drink, it does matter how it got that way. Check out our H2 Minute experiment video to see the demonstration that corresponds with this information. Be sure to look for our next video that will dive into the benefits or drawbacks of alkaline water for your body. Here's a sneak peek. I will be addressing a beloved Nobel Prize winner. You won't want to miss it. And that's your dose of H2 in two minutes.